Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my... Hello my kings and queens, welcome to my channel, Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Libras back to my channel. If you are a Night K N I G H T watcher, welcome to our royal family. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens. So take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. And don't forget, if this reading does resonate, don't forget to click like, share this video, subscribe, and click the bell to get future notifications when your girl will be uploading another video, as it helps the channel out so, so much, and you never know who can use the message this week. So we are going to do things a little bit differently. I, I do switch it up from time to time. So we are going to do your recent past, your present, and then we are going to go into your immediate future and then go over the overall energy. Now, keep in mind, guys, that the every weekly reading does come with an extended. So in the description box below, you have the option of, you know, choosing a membership option, which is $5, where you'll be able to access all extended readings for all zodiac signs um, throughout the month. Or you pay five dollars just for this or any other one specific reading okay so everything you need to know about the channel is in the description box below of this video all right let's dive into your weekly reading my libra see what's going on with you guys and um, sun moon rising and venus to the highest light for the purest good calling on my ancestors here what's the my energy what's the energy what is it that my libras need to know this week all right thank you thank you thank you all right, so we start off with the lovers in the recent past. We have the Five of Cups, and then we have the Two of Cups. Okay, interesting. Um, the present, we have the Seven of Swords. We have the High Priestess, and then we have the Page of Cups. Interesting. Okay, and we will turn these downside down, or if I'm saying that right, no, <laughs> right side down. Okay, and at the bottom, we have the Three of Wands. All right, so to dive into your message this week, we have the overall energy being the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This is definitely an energy of someone waiting for something to happen, waiting for a new beginning, waiting for a fresh start, okay, um, in this Ace of Wands energy. The Ace of Wands energy is definitely all about a passion within, it, within you being ignited again. OK, um, nonetheless, it's all about your creativity chakra um, being busted wide open, you know, just being able to captivate, you know, any new opportunities that is on the horizon for you. OK, is the energy that's coming through here. This could even mean new romance. I feel like for some of you, you're waiting on a new beginning, a new romance, a new love to come in your way. OK. I'm seeing that you've been waiting for some, quite some time for this energy or this love to come in your way. For some of you, you could be waiting on a new job opportunity, a new business opportunity, maybe waiting on some mo money to come in, you know, because the Ace of Wands is all about a new beginning. Okay, it could be new romance, it could be a, a new job, a new project, you know, just feeling inspired, inspirational all of a sudden, you know, it's just like having that sudden urge, that urge to create, that urge to, you know, um, you know, be innovative, if I may say so, okay? Um, but I'm seeing a strong energy of passion, a passion being reignited here. But more so than anything, I do feel like this is a strong energy of you waiting, waiting for someone to return to you or waiting for a new love to come in your way, okay, is the energy here. So let's move on. We have the lovers, we have the five of cups, and then we have the um, two of cups. So we have the lovers, okay, we have the five of cups, and then we have the two of cups, okay? So in the recent past, I'm definitely seeing, this is definitely a romance. This is a soulmate kind of connection. This is two souls that are coming together that belong together. This is two souls that shared a romance of a lifetime, a romance that only many can even dream about. Um, is the energy here. I'm seeing here that you could have been dealing with a Gemini or a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio here, okay, in the recent past. Um, I'm definitely seeing there was some heartbreak here between you and this person, 
okay? I, um, there is a reason behind this. It was definitely something that transpired here between you two with this Five of Cups energy. This is all about, you know, um, mourning a loss. This is all about regret, grief, feeling abandoned or unloved here. So I feel like this was definitely an energy of the same person who made you feel so whole, you know, um, could have taken that away from you. Okay, I'm seeing a love decision has been made here or was needed to be made in the recent past. Um, this is all about you guys coming together. For some of you, This you guys were engaged to this person. I'm strong, sensing strong engagement. Um, nonetheless, I am sensing this is a strong um, commitment um, between you and your person. The Two of Cups is all about romantic love, partnerships coming together, proposals. Okay, I'm seeing a strong kindred spirit. For some of you, it could have been an interracial relationship. Okay, um, I'm seeing for some of you, this was a relationship that was at a distance. But something happened here. Something became very overwhelming. Something became very draining in this connection between you and your person. But we're going to dive in deeper and find out exactly what happened here um, in the recent past. So let's dive in. Spirit, what's the energy here? What's the energy here between my Libras and their person? What's the energy here in the recent past? Clarify further. Clarify, clarify the energy. Why is the lovers here? Clarify the lovers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have the ten of, ten of Wands clarifying the lovers. Okay, so something here became too much to bear. Something here became a burden. Look at the bottom of the deck here, guys. We have the lovers. Yeah, something here became a burden for you guys within the relationship. Something just became too much to handle, okay? It could be someone here was taking on a lot. Maybe someone here was taking on more than the other in the relationship, you know, and someone here wasn't pulling their weight. I'm seeing that you guys have been together for quite some time. It's been a long road, a long journey. Um, but I'm also seeing strongly here, someone here is also refusing to give up or refused to give up or didn't want to give up in the situation. They would have rather carried the burden because there was just so much love here. But I am seeing that things began to stumble here between the two of you. You know, this definitely became a connection where things became too tough, okay? Um, things started to fall apart, okay, in this connection between you and this person. Clarify further. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have the Page of Wands here. Okay, is the energy coming through. The Page of Wands is all about communication, letters, texts, calls, emails, expressing yourself. So I'm seeing strong. There was a, um, a conversation. You know, something was discussed here with something to do with a burden or taking on too much. Um, needing to release it, maybe, is the energy that's coming through here. Let's clarify further. Clarify the lovers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have the Judgment card here. Yeah, this is all about reassessing the relationship. You know, um, balance was needed to be restored in this connection. We have the temperance card. This is all about things being done in moderation. I feel like in the past, someone here was regretful. Uh, something happened here between you and your person. It left someone in regret, okay? Someone um, may even be seeking forgiveness or was seeking forgiveness in the situation, okay? Something happened that became too much, okay? Too much to bear, is the energy, but this is all about you assessing it and having a conversation with your person, okay, about what had transpired. Clarify the Five of Cups. What is this Five of Cups about? What is this loss about? Clarify for me, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, this is all about finding something out, okay? You found something out here um, with your person. The Page of Swords is all about gossip, manipulation, someone who's very cunning in the situation, dishonesty, okay? Um, I feel like this was an energy of you finding out something with your person. It could be, you know, whatever information it is, you know more than I do. But this was definitely heartbreaking towards you. You know, maybe this person was, dis you know, manipulative or dishonest about something. But we're going to have to dive deeper into the message. We do have the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That could mean third party. Okay. Um, and right after that, we have the moon card. Okay, so that could mean third party situation, but let's let's dive in deeper. Spirit, clarify the page of swords, clarifying the five of cups. Something was found out, something was brought to light here. Okay, I feel like um you ended up having to break things off with this person, or maybe this person broke things off with you. But I feel like with this two of cups energy, you, you were missing them or they were missing you. Clarify further, thank you so much. Look at that, the six of pentacles was here. 
I feel like this person could have been giving giving to someone else. You know, um, this is all about um, give and take, the Six of Pentacles. But I feel like this person was giving to two people um, is the energy that's coming through here. This is what broke your heart. This person was, was giving to someone else, was sharing your love elsewhere. Look at that. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Cups. And then right after that, we got the Seven of Swords. Okay, this person was dishonest. This person was manipulative. This person was sneaky. In this situation, I feel like, yeah, this person left you, left you, left you feeling lost, left you feeling confused as to, you know, why? Because the, you guys had a strong energy, a st very strong bond. Look, look at this. The Five of Swords flipped out in the reverse. That's all about someone being being caught. You know, this person was caught. Yeah, this person was. You found things out about this person. The Five of Swords in reverse is all about being caught in the situation. Games up. Yep, that's what exactly what happened. Clarify the Two of Cups. What is this Two of Cups here in the recent past? Is this a reconnection? Or is this um, someone just missing the other person? What is this about? Okay, so this is the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this is all about, you know, not wanting to move forward, okay? With this Knight of Swords energy. Okay, I feel like this person, I don't know. Strong energy here. This person could have been abusive in some way to some some of you. Take it as it resonates. Or very um, controlling in the situation. But I am seeing strong energy that someone here decided that they didn't want to move forward with the connection anymore. They didn't want to work things out. Look at this. We got the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this was led to a lot of commun uh, confusion between um, the two of you. Clarify the Two of Cups and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Clarify further, Spirit. What are, what's the energy here in the recent past? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, look at that. I just said this person left you confused, okay? And maybe had you as an option. This person had uh, many choices, okay? Or oh, take it as a resonate. This could be you. We have the moon card at the bottom of the deck again. This is all about deception. I feel like there were many tears here. What's in the dark came to light, okay? With the moon card, okay? I feel like everything just became an illusion at one point. Yeah, but this person wasn't honest with you. There was manipulation here. This person cheated. I'm sensing strong third party here in this connection, okay? But let's find out what's going on with you guys in the present, okay? What's going on with you in the present? Okay, so this came out here too. So um, this is all, of, this is the Ace of Swords. This is all about destruction, cutting people off, cutting people out of your life. Yeah, I feel like you walked away from this person or this person walked away from you. Look at that at the bottom of the deck. We got the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you walked away from this person. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Spirit, clarify. Someone rising in Venus to the highest light for the purest good. What's the energy here coming in towards my Libras in the present? What's, what's, what's happening here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have the Five of Wands. Yeah, so after you found out what you needed to find out about this person, it left you, you know, having arguments. You guys were in a lot of arguments, a lot of dis disagreements. You felt like, you know, there was competition or maybe they felt like it was com competition. Take it as it resonates. But this led to um, a lot of fights, you know, not wanting to push forward with this person. Look at this. We have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Okay. The Empress in this deck is someone who's very sed seductive. Okay. Someone who is very sexual. I feel like this person you know, was not honest with you in this connection in regards to dealing with someone else. It's the energy that's coming in here very strongly. Well, this could be you guys. Take it as it resonates, okay? The Empress is strong earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn, so they could have been dealing with somebody in that energy. Okay, but let's clarify further. Why is the High Priestess here? The High Priestess is all about things coming to light, okay? Yep, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you found something out. You found something out about this person maybe dealing with someone else. You know, is the strong energy here. You know, for some of you, I feel like for some of you, it could be an instance where this person got someone pregnant. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is a businesswoman, someone who's very independent, very loving, very nurturing. Okay, um, could even be a healer, but likes this, the, um, the luxury things in life as well. You know, but I feel like this person is someone that you found out about, you know, with the high priestess here. This is all about, you know, secrets coming to light, you know, following your intuition and in situations. This could even be you. Maybe you are nurturing towards this person. Let's clarify further. Clarify the high priestess and the queen of pentacles. Clarify the energy here. What's the energy here? 
clarify, clarify. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have uh, way too many cards. <laughs> All right, so we have the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Star. Clarifying the High Priestess and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person could have started a family elsewhere is the energy here. I think you found out something. Maybe this person was living a double life kind of per se here. In this, is it, take this as it resonates. This is some of you, not all of you. Okay, I feel like this person was being a Prince Charming or a Princess Charming or however you want to take it to someone else. Okay, this is all the Knight of Cups is all about uh, movement towards someone in love news and love matters. You know, I'm seeing here that this person was was being nurturing and loving towards someone else. This broke your home, your family up. Okay, we have the star card here as well. This is all about healing, but see, there's a lot of tears here. Okay, I feel like this is you pouring your pouring your love out. Okay, you see that in the um, this is this is um, Aquarius energy, but air energy still the same. You know, this is you pouring out your love, not giving two fucks anymore about this person. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Knight of Wands. That's player energy. Okay, I feel like this person was dishonest. You see those tears? Yeah, you shed a lot of tears over this. You know, when you found out what you found out about this person, I feel like this person has sexual desires towards someone else. Clarify the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Thank you. Yeah, the Hangman. The hangman. Uh, this is all about you seeking solitude from the situation, letting go, letting go something, letting go of a situation, taking a break. Okay, becoming enlightened in situations. Okay, it's a newfound wisdom here in the hangman energy. This is you separating yourself from this person. Okay, right after that, we got the three of um the three of cups. This is all about third party. This person was was dishonest with you. This person was sh was sharing the love elsewhere. Okay. For some of you, this person could have had um, sexual encounters with the same sex. Is it also an energy that's coming through here? Okay, and I feel like you found you found out some shocking news with this person. Something transpired here. You know, the overall energy, we had the Ace of Wands and the Three of Wands. This is all about finding something out. You know, um, I feel like this is all about, this is, uh, energy is all about you finding something out here you know with this ace of wands energy this ace of wands is all about clarity you know but i feel like now you turned your back to the situation but you're waiting on something you're waiting for something to something to happen here nonetheless guys we are going to dive deeper into this message in the extended so if you want to know more about this reading and if this reading resonated with you i will see you over in the extended my libras till next time bye <laughs> You're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply.